everybody, how are we doing today? Today we are going to check out a cool little RC tank. This is made by Ruko and the model number is Q111. This is currently $109 on Amazon after a $10 coupon. And I'm gonna unbox it, charge her up, and I will show you how good it runs, what all it can do, and hopefully it's a cool little toy. Let me show you a little bit of information about it before I open it up. As you can see, it has LED lights. The doors pop open. It says 2.4 gigahertz radio controlled. A little bit more info for you. Comes with two batteries, so you can get up to 45 minutes of runtime, which seems quite a long time. 360 degree spinning, uh, 15 kilometers an hour, and 80 meters of RC distance, which is pretty good. Another picture of it with the LEDs on. And then here's a little bit more information on it. If you want to go ahead and pause it. Let me quickly get this unboxed and I will show you everything that is in the box. I'll show you how to hook up the batteries and all that and if they're not already in the unit. And then like I said, I'll charge up the batteries, get this guy running, we'll see how fast it is, how well it turns. This even has a little fog machine in the back. You put a little bit of water and it will act like it's a, kind of like an exhaust where you can see fog coming out, kind of like the tailpipes, it's pretty cool. So let me get this unboxed and I will show you all about it. All right, here's everything included in the box. As you can see, you got two batteries, 7.4 volts, 1500 milliamp hours. And I really appreciate that they give you two of them. You got this little bottle, that, it's kind of funny, it looks like a little baby bottle. Fill this up with water, and then I'll show you when it's time to run this. You fill up this little tank here and here, and that's gonna give you the kind of the smoke effect. Here is the remote control. I'll show you a little bit more about this when I have it up and running. 2.4 gigahertz. Runs on three double A's. Comes with two chargers. And here's a close up of the robot. Here's a close up of the RC. These both open, so say if you have little GI Joes or something you want to throw in there to make it more fun for your kids you can definitely do that it's gonna have led lights here led lights here the tank treads are rubber which is great and then it's got shocks in three different spots and some of the front too so should be a pretty cool toy pretty interested to fire this up once i get the batteries fully charged i want to see how quick it is and overall, I think it's a cool looking RC car. I've never actually owned one like this. I've always had the really cheap ones you get at Walmart for like $20 and those are just really not no fun. So hopefully at the end of this, I can say I recommend it. It's a lot of fun. I do have an 11 year old son. I think he's gonna get a lot of fun out of this too. So let me get everything charged up. As soon as it is, I will show you how to put in the batteries and all that. And then we'll fire it up, see how it looks and give it a test run. All right, we got the batteries completely charged, both of them. Here's a little USB plug that you charge with. There's a little light, a red one in there, and then a green one that blinks while it's charging. And then when it turns fully charged, it's just a green light. So it's cool that there's an indicator in there to let you know when it's done. Remote just uses three double A's. Move the little baby bottle. And then to install the battery, I already took out a little screw. So you just pop off this, just pop off the back here. It's got the cord ready for the battery. Just line them up, plug it right in. Plenty of space, of course. And I think this is either for your charger or the extra battery might fit in there. All right, let's power this bad boy on for the first time. Just simply push this button, it says. Okay, there we go. 
pretty cool, kind of like a, a strobe light. I think that means it wants to connect with the remote control. So let's turn this on. There we go. You can see it's connected. This is what's gonna steer. Of course, this is your throttle. You go reverse and forward, depending on which way you push it. See if, you're supposed to be able to do some 360s, let's see. Pretty cool. It's got a button for the smoking. So if I had water in there, which I'll show you later in this video, you hit that and it'll start smoking out of these pipes and it'll kind of, kind of look like exhaust fumes. Pretty cool. Holy cow. Okay. This thing's got some power if you go full throttle. All right, pretty cool. I'm gonna set up a cool little race. I have, just for the heck of it, obviously this tank should absolutely smoke it. But I, I got a little Lego uh, GT500 here. And you pull it back. And then when you're ready to race it, you click this down and it goes. So that'd be kind of a cool little race, just for the heck of it. This thing's not fast by any means, but it's pretty quick. But this thing should just absolutely dominate it. And then we'll see if it can run it over. Why not? So I'm going to give the Mustang a tiny bit of a head start. I might even hit the tripod if I do. I do, no big deal. Uh, so I'm going to kick the Mustang and have it start going. And I'm going to go full throttle on the tank. And the tank should just absolutely haul. Ready? All right, guys, so far this thing is pretty cool. This is my first kind of high-end, I guess, RC car. And so far I'm liking it. So let's go ahead and play with it a little bit more in here. I'm gonna see if I can run over the Mustang. And then of course I'll show you guys the smoke too at some point in this video. See if I can slowly run around. Should be able to. Uh oh, tank down. Quite all, but so far it's really cool. Um, once again, in just a moment, you'll see this outside. We actually have a lot of snow right now. I have to double check and see if it's waterproof, which I don't think it is. I may have to wait until it completely dries outside. Um, so depending on our weather, that might be in a future clip video. All right, let's go ahead and check out the smoking feature of this. So then this little back area, there's a little tank in here. And what a cool little idea. Instead of just using a little rubber plug, they use a rubber plug with that looks like a gas tank. That's a really cool idea to me. So this comes with this little bottle. Of course, it's for the water. So you go to your sink, squeeze this, and then suck in the water. And then there's a little hole here. And you just squeeze in a little bit of water. All right, it looks like that is full. So it takes about roughly half a bottle because that wasn't completely full. Go ahead and cap it. And let's see what this does. Little button here that says smoking. And I'm assuming the smoke is like a humidifier where it just makes contact with that metal and it instantly makes the smoke. So we should see it immediately, I would think. Oh yeah, that is really, really cool, guys. I mean, how unique is that? That is really, really cool. Oh, 
I must say I am really impressed with this RC tank. So far it's been a lot of fun and I've only been driving it inside my house. Take this out to the grass or even a small wooded area. I can see this being a lot of fun, especially if you're a kid. I think my 11 year old son is really gonna like this. Very, very, very cool if you ask me. And that is it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this, please let me know down in the comments. And once again, I will do another quick video on this working outside, maybe even taking it into a small wooded area and just see how well this guy actually runs. Seems like it's gonna be really good. That tread is all rubber, so it's not gonna be slipping around and stuff like that. And it seems like a really good build quality. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.